Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil and TireRack.com. Great turnout for the Metro Vets Car Show. There's a lot of variety here, which I really love. Everything from a Ford Model A to a Bentley. Let's go check some of them out. While we look around, a very special baseball game is in full swing, celebrating the 1942 Negro Baseball League World Series. So my players come dressed in uniforms, east and west, and they're all colors of the rainbow because the Negro League was integrated at that time. Dwayne Rennell Sims is the founder of the Negro League Legends Hall of Fame Incorporated and the organizer of this baseball game and car show. He was also a longtime friend of our own Pat Goss. Give me some of that. Oh, yeah. In 1942, the World Series was played at Griffith Stadium in Washington, D.C. As you can see from these old photos, vintage automobiles filled the parking lot recreating that big moment in history while raising money for community education outreach programs is at the heart of this event. I found a 1931 Ford Model A here, which is pretty incredible. I'm here with the owner, Marcus. Tell me about this car. Well, I've had it, the car for about two years, and it's a wonderful car. You must get some crazy looks from people when they see it coming down the road, All the time right? I get waves <laughs> and thumbs up and horns blowing all the time. What's your favorite part about this car? Just the looks itself, period, the looks. And we heard a very special Lamborghini before we actually saw it. I'm here with the owner now. It's a pretty incredible car. Tell me a little bit about it. Oh uh, yes, uh, Lamborghini uh, Ventador Roadster V1. Special build, tuned from hell, actually. Um, hellacious goodies, you know, but uh, about 1850 horsepower. Andre also owns this 1970 SS Chevelle, a Jerry Bickle race car. Featured in a hot rod about six, seven times. Um, it's about 6,000 horsepower. It's a 670 uh, custom billet bullet block uh, made by Mike Moran uh, and with uh, 110 uh, twin turbos, Garrett um, turbo system. From modern opulence back to more humble beginnings. I personally love this 1962 Austin Healey Sebring. I'm here with the owner. Tell me a little bit about this vehicle and why you bought it. Um, I, I've always loved the body style. I happened upon this one about eight months ago, and I, I jumped on it. What's the best thing about owning this car? Uh, just, you know, top down, um, cruising, uh, just enjoying the, you know, the weather. And I have a um, 350, um, Chevy engine in it, which gives it a little more pop. Yeah, a little more oomph. Yep, Yeah. absolutely. Nice ride. At the end of the day, $7,500 was raised to support community education outreach programs. All in all, a great day filled with nostalgia, bringing everyone together like only baseball and cars can. Today, we're going to do the horns in the memory of Pat Goss, one of our favorites from Maryland from Motor Week on MBT television. Ready, three, two, one, blow!